A toddler teenager who was hit and killed by a boat on Lake Palestine last Sunday is being honored tonight. Funeral services for Roberto Hernandez were held at a local church. KTK's My Owens right now shows us how family and friends plan to remember the life of Roberto. Friends and family had no idea a day on the lake would turn deadly for Roberto Hernandez. I was in shock because I was like, how can a 14 year old like pass away so young? He was an amazing person. He was a, actually a really good person. He would always smile. He, was, he would always bring people up. These siblings were among many grieving, sitting close together as Bishop Joseph Strickland presided over the funeral inside the Cathedral of Immaculate Conception. A beautiful 14 year old young man just taken so instantaneously, so tragically. Um, it just reminds us how precious life is. But before the ceremony, everyone gathered outside, releasing balloons into the air, representing how each person is letting Roberto go into the hands of God. We used to do everything together and we're, as we were little kids just growing up. It was just a good time as always. This group of friends have known Roberto all their life. Oh, we'd be like so happy. He always had a smile on his face. Just he's just in the better place. I miss him too much. You'll notice they're wearing a special token. Hats to show Roberto everyone remembers his love for cowboys. And the rodeo wasn't his only passion. A soccer player and a devoted older brother. How much he cared for his little sister, his three year old sister. Anytime I needed to take care of her, he'd take care of her without hesitation. A love so deep. Family say he gave his own life to save his three year old sister from the same boat that hit and killed him. He's in a better place now. For many, this isn't goodbye, but see you later, Roberto. My Owens, KETK News. Friends and family say they are happy now that Hampton is behind bars where they also want the people who are in the boat. With them and didn't help save Roberto's life to be punished as well. Now